in today's class we begin with uh, practicing some very very important questions and uh, we'll get started with question number 11 first of all and let us first uh, read question number 11 slow payers are regular customers of goods dealers limited calcutta and have approached the seller for extension of a credit facility for enabling them to purchase goods from goods dealers limited on an analysis of past performance and on the basis of information supplied to the following pattern of payment schedule emerges in regards to slow payers now they have given payment schedule as uh, at end of 30 days then at end of 60 days at end of 90 days at end of 100 days how much all you are recovering and there is a non recovery which indicates bad debt to the extent of 1% of the bill let us first read the question further slow payers wants to enter into a firm commitment for purchases of goods of rupees 15 lakhs in 1987 delivery is to be made in equal quantities on the first day of each quarter in the calendar year the price per unit of commodity is rupees 150 on which a profit of rupees 5 per unit is expected to be made it is anticipated by goods dealers limited that taking up of this contract would mean an extra recurring expenditure of rupees 5000 per annum if the opportunity cost of funds in the hands of goods dealers limited is 24 percent per annum would you as the finance manager of the seller recommend the grant of credit to slow payers working should form part of your answer now friends uh, when you are dealing with a question like this you need to be extremely careful let me explain you what should be your right approach over here look at this payment schedule first of all the total orders that you are expecting will be amounting to rupees 15 lakhs means you accept the offer if you accept the offer you will be getting a sale increase by 15 lakhs so your additional sale is definitely going to be 15 lakhs how will you collect your sales revenue you will collect some portion in 30 days some portion in 60 days some portion in 90 days and some portion in 100 days and there will be some non recovery that will be 1% of the total bill now whether you are making supplies on quarterly basis or monthly basis we are not concerned with that because ultimately when you compute the average balance of fund blockage you always take the entire year into consideration now there are these four different patterns in which you are making collection so let me explain one thing very well over here you just assume as if you are making sales to four different customers one customer will pay you in 30 days another customer is paying you in 60 days time yet another customer pays in 90 days and yet another pays in 100 days and just imagine that the last customer who is paying in 100 days may not be able to pay the entire amount 1% bad debt just assume that it is arising from that part of the customer when you have four different customers with four different credit periods for you to calculate the fund blockage and the cost of funds block becomes easiest task now what happens while approaching this particular question many students get carried away with that 1% non recovery because they have one perception that out of 15 lakhs of sales we are not able to recover 1% so we will consider only 99% recovery that will not be a right approach why because you are going to compute your cost of funds blocked and when your customer does not pay you full amount that doesn't change the amount of money that you have blocked from your pocket and therefore while computing cost of funds blocked you should not take 99% of your cost of goods sold you should still take 100% of your cost of goods sold but somewhere you will have to put that bad debt of 1% also right in one category where that fund got blocked so 30 days 60 days 90 days 100 days these four categories I would obviously put it in that fourth category of 100 days because if it is just one customer and I have been waiting for maximum 100 days which day I will consider that bad debt has arisen only when 100 days period is over means till 100 days I will wait for that customer to pay on 100th day also if the customer doesn't pay then I will understand that okay fine this has gone as bad debt so when you are solving this question actually speaking it is no different question it is same usual type of question 
but presented the question presented the way it is uh, presented in front of you it can appear little complicated and difficult indeed it is not it is very simple so what happens when many students get carried away with the language of the question i would say built a better approach to solve a question like this so forget all the complexity involved in this question forget it for a while just focus on one thing how do you present your profitability statement you always begin with sales correct sales and you mark it as a so sales marked as a it will be what it will be 15 lakhs without doubts 15 lakhs so one line is clear 15 lakhs is the amount of sales second line when you come across it will be cost of goods sold which is clubbed into two components that is a uh, variable cost and fixed cost here we have no information about variable cost and fixed cost in fact what is reported to you that if selling price is 150 per unit profit will be rupees 5 per unit in other words the question is trying to tell you that cost of goods sold will be 145 per unit correct on top of this cost of goods sold they have reported additional cost of 5000 if you accept this offer that will be basically a cost towards collection or administration of your receivables with respect to this customer so we generally put that thing into the third category that is cost of collection and cost of funds blocked so once again if i look into sales marked as a 15 lakhs if i look into cost of goods sold what i'll do is total sales 15 lakhs I divide it by rupees 150 of selling price, I will get 10,000 units. You can check with your calculator. Let me check. I take 15 lakhs of sales, divide by 150. Yes, I am getting 10,000 units. That means the customer is placing order for 10,000 units and his profit per unit is rupees 5, means cost of goods sold per unit is 145. I multiply 145 to 10,000 units. And what I get is 14,50,000. So 14,50,000 will be cost of goods sold marked as B. So my A and B calculations are ready. Coming to C calculation, which will be including two figures. One is the cost of collection, which is directly reported to you as 5,000 rupees. And another component will be cost of funds blocked, which we will have to determine. And last part will be bad debts. Bad debt is given as 1% of 15 lakhs. 1% of 15 lakhs is 15,000. So can you notice one thing? Question appeared to be a little complicated, but when you start putting the solution, out of five figures, four figures are readily available. We just have to now focus on cost of funds blocked. So let us do one thing. I'll explain you cost of funds blocked in detail, but let us first do the easier task. Let us first write up this part of the solution. And what I'll do is I'll expand the screen size for your reference over here. And let us see how to present the solution. In your solution, you begin with sales as I have explained, rupees 15 lakhs marked as A. Cost of goods sold will be rupees 14 lakh 50,000. How did you compute 14 lakh 50,000 has been worked out over here, marked as B. Then cost of collection is given as 5,000. Cost of funds blocked. This is something which is yet to be discussed. So I can agree on one thing that how we got this 70,470 that point we have yet to discuss in detail but the aggregate of these two components will be c that is uh, aggregate of cost of collection and cost of funds blocked and last component is d that is bad debts 15000 is nothing but 1% of 15 lakhs net benefit will be a minus b minus c minus d and that net benefit is coming to negative amount and we would therefore conclude that on accepting the offer of slow pairs the company would incur a loss of rupees 40,470. Therefore, this offer is not acceptable. Let us move ahead and carry out that working for funds blocked. Now look at the pattern of collection. 14,50,000 is your total cost of goods sold. 15% of this amount you will collect in 30 days. So here we have assumed 360 days in the year. If a student wants to take 365 days, I have no problem with that. But generally what I do is, when I find 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, these kind of divisors of 360, I will generally prefer taking or I would say assuming 360 days in the year just to get round figures. But otherwise you can have a different approach of taking 365 days. But, but, but 
my point of explanation and discussion is not about whether it is 360 or 365 that is something little easily understandable whatever you want to take but point is 15 percent of the total cost of goods sold will be blocked for 30 days and that comes to 18,125 on an average for the entire year another 34 percent will be blocked for 60 days another 30 percent will be blocked for 90 days and another 20 percent plus 1 percent bad debt both club together that is 21 percent will be blocked for 100 days when we take the aggregate of all these fund blockages on that you apply your cost of funds blocked and that will give you the overall amount of cost of funds blocked as 70,470. Now what we have to do further is we just have to understand that we have actually assumed as if these are four different customers. So your total annual sale was 15 lakhs and 15 percent you are selling to customer A. 34 percent you are selling to customer B, 30 percent you are selling to customer C and 21 percent you are selling to customer D and customer A, B, C, D all these customers have respective credit period of 30 days, 60 days, 90 days and 100 days. So obviously when you find the amounts of funds blocked it will be this amount for customer A, this amount for customer B, this amount for customer C and this amount for customer D and finally when you have to find the cost of funds blocked you will take 24 percent of each of these amounts and then take the total of that what we have done instead we have first taken the total of all this and then applied 24 percent because actually these were not four different customers it was one single customer we have considered as if it were four different customers now the big problem that many students still may have is that sir why are we taking 21 percent over here whereas in the question 100 days credit period was associated with 20 percent of the bill sir why did you take 21 percent and why not 20 percent why you have included that 1 percent over there first of all that 1 percent is basically for bad debts if you want to fight with me and tell me that sir I will take 20 percent only then I can't stop you doing a mistake I can't stop you but if you want to be logically correct you should always take 21 percent in whichever textbook in whichever material you find that calculation given as 20 percent just do what I do I smile and just pray God that please give wisdom to these people who have drafted this solution because if you do that it will be wrong let me help you recalling all the questions that you have solved in this chapter none of the questions were free from bad debt information right so assume that your cost of goods sold for the entire year is 10 lakhs and bad debt information was 2 percent have you taken for cost of funds blocked have you taken entire 10 lakhs or 98 percent of 10 lakhs you have taken not 98 percent of 10 lakhs but entire 10 lakhs if the question gives you 5 percent bad debts you will not take 95 percent of 10 lakhs as your funds blocked you will take entire 10 lakhs as your funds blocked understand one thing if my customer doesn't pay me full money that does not cause lesser amount of fund blockage from my pocket my fund blocked is depending upon the variable cost and fixed cost that I am incurring correct how does that get affected when my customer does not pay whether my customer pays more whether my customer pays less or whether my customer does not pay at all money that has got blocked from my pocket does not change that means when we are making this calculation we should ensure one thing that our funds blocked has to be necessarily based on 100 percent of cost of goods sold that you cannot dilute to 99 percent that you cannot do that however you will still argue with me on one thing that sir why did you take that 21 percent along with 100 days why not 30 days why not 60 days why not 90 days for this I will give you a very simple reasoning please try to understand me there is actually one single customer right this is slow payer now this person is paying you part amount in 30 days, part amount in 60 days, part amount in 90 days, part amount in 100 days. Beyond 100 days you are not waiting. That means, that means whatever uncollected amount remains you will wait up to 100 days. Only after 100 days getting over and then when you find 
that you could not recover 100 percent amount that is the time when you will write off that 1 percent as bad debt that means that 1 percent of your cost of goods sold remained blocked for those 100 days it is thereafter you have written it off completely as bad debt. So, that was all the required explanation for this particular question.